In Athens, the Secretary General today addressed the third meeting of the Global Forum on Migration and Development, and he called for policies on migration to be founded on evidence, not fueled by prejudice. He warned that the conditions in which many migrants move and live continue to be treacherous. He spelled out three major challenges facing migrants worldwide. First, on the economic front, the global recession has highlighted the vulnerability of migrants, particularly recent migrants. Second, on climate change, he said that the effects of global warming will be far-reaching and could prompt further migration. And third, he said that we must devote special attention to the most vulnerable migrants of all, victims of human trafficking, especially women and girls. Human trafficking injures, traumatizes, and kills the Secretary General said. We have his remarks upstairs as well as his uh, remarks to the press after his speech at the forum where he stressed the need to deepen our common values of inclusion, social acceptance and understanding. The Secretary General met later with uh, George Papandreou who is the Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Greece. He told reporters afterward that they discussed among other things the climate change, migration and development, Cyprus, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, UN peacekeeping operations and reform, piracy, and the Millennium Development Goals. On Cyprus, the Secretary General said he told the Prime Minister that he appreciates his commitment to help Cypriots achieve a settlement. He added, I believe the talks are making reasonably good progress and this momentum must be kept up. The Secretary General also attended a luncheon hosted by Greek President Karolos Papoulias. Tomorrow he is scheduled to address the Greek Parliament on the United Nations and renewed multilateralism in the 21st century. During the Secretary General's press encounter today with uh, the Greek Prime Minister, he noted that his personal envoy for the talks between Greece and the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, Matthew Nimitz, is set to restart discussions on the name issue as soon as both parties are ready. The Secretary General said he was encouraged that the Greek Prime Minister had told him that Greece is ready and will fully support Mr. Nimitz's ongoing facilitation role. In that regard, Mr. Nemitz reports that he is in touch with the parties and has proposed to them the holding of, a, of a meetings, either joint or separate, in New York at the time to be determined. And as soon as I have more on this, you'll hear more.